All right, good Black Friday morning. Of course, I'm not participating in uh, any of that Black Friday stuff. Uh, I mean, I will go to the hobby shop today and probably in a bit here, but I want to make a video and there's Mitzi. Hey, say good morning, Mitzi. Anyhow, I want to do a little more die cast uh, video here before I take off. Uh, I'm going to do a couple, a uh, little preview of the uh, cards I'm sending to Nas's Ukraine auction that's happening on December 9th, I believe. Uh, but let's see if it'll focus. Okay, this is just a mild custom. In fact, it's just basically a wheel swap. I painted the interior on the Mercedes here. I left the body the way it comes from Hot Wheels because, let's face it, it looks pretty good. It's black. It's got the tampos front and rear. So I gave it a wheel swap, detailed and cleared the chassis. And then I um, repainted the interior because it was, I believe it was black. So I painted it red and detailed the speakers and some dash. But there it goes, focus. Oh, there it goes, and there's Deuce because he heard me talk it. So that's going to be one I'm sending to auction. I think I got a total of 15 or 16 cards that are going. So if anybody sees anything they like, go to Nostalgic. Um, and uh, you'll be able to bid on these when the auction happens. This is a body and chassis that uh, Nas sent me, in fact. He had stripped the wheels off of it. Um, it was a premium car, the uh, Lancer Evolution. So I had this for a while now, so I just put some wheels on it. Since I had some, I detailed the chassis, as you can see, and cleared it. And I put some wheels, and I also painted the interior gray and gave it a little bit of detail. You can see the gauges in there and stuff like that. So that's another one going to auction. I thought they're just mild custom. Then here's one I've already showed you the body, but here it is done. Uh, this is the Apple Wagon. I had did the sedan last time. And when that light hits it just right, you can see the pearl specks in there. But the chassis is cleared and painted. That's not just a red plastic. I gave it some actual gloss red paint and then cleared everything and detailed it. Gave with the red wheels and uh, did some quick detail on the interior. And of course, I detailed the grill and the engine or trans cooler, or whatever that would be on there, or turbo cooler. But yeah, that one's up for grabs. So, Matt and Chris, have at it when the auction comes, but you're getting a preview of it now. So. And let me see what else I could show you. I don't want to show them all. I want Nas to show a lot of these off. So let's go with something, another mild custom. Uh, this is the Silverado. Got a uh, rat fink on it. And I detailed the lights. Uh, painted it. It was, I don't remember what color it was. But I painted the whole bed. Like, you know, that was chassis or interior color at one time so now it's all blue uh these wheels are from panda they were black or silver i used the uh, ravel chrome spray i don't know how durable this stuff's going to be i used it on a couple of the last customs i did too on the plastic parts but i chromed them wheels out and of course i gave the chassis some quick detailing and clear coat so that's another one that's going to be up for grabs let's get it down low here but yeah it rolls it looks cool so that's one and um let's see what else i could show you without showing too much i want some of these to be surprises um okay well here's one i kind of showed you the before decals this is the uh Maxima wagon, a drift wagon. Gave it some purple wheels. Let me bring up the light here a little bit more. I don't know how well that shows. But it's like a darker pink on the sides with the blitz decals, which I have no idea what that is. 
And this guy who makes these decals is obsessed with number 23 on a lot of these. I don't know why. But I bare metal the grill and painted the lights. Uh, detail the engine out a little bit. Rather than it being all black. Gave the interior some detail. Painted that post black to hide it a little bit. Used some bare metal on those panels in the back to make it look like sheet aluminum. And, uh, of course, I detail and clear coat the chassis. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, you know, the whole chassis got cleared. So that would be pretty cool. Painted the marker lights. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much done. I think I painted the, uh, the visor over the sunroof. Uh, the Sharpie from the inside. They've tinted it a little bit. But that's one of them. That's all you'll see for now. There's more. But um, those you'll get to see when Nas sees them. Okay, let's go through some of my other die casts. This is all die cast stuff today. Um, this is the Don Perdome. This is one of those fat backs. Uh, I think these came out in the early 2000s. Uh, but this is a really clean... Yeah, you know, I want to do something with it. Maybe like narrow these wheels a little bit. It's cartooned as crazy, you know, but I like that kind of. Uh, but I like to, you know, paint the taillights and do a little bit of more detail and get rid of these excessively fat tires. Then I got these. Uh, these came from Nas. These were in a gift box after a, you know, auction. These are his powder-coated cards. Um, I still have yet... What I want to do with these, um, leave them powder coated, they're beautiful, but I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and, you know, do like tail lights and marker lights and stuff like that. Maybe detail the interior and chassis a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill these out and, you know, tap them and put screws in them. So there's that one there, and with the, what is this thing? This is a Nissan 35 GTR R. So there's that one. Uh, him and I actually did this same car similar colors. I painted it a green like this. Uh, this is one of his powder coat cars. I believe. But, you know, I'm going to do the same thing. Detail it out a little bit. You know, paint the belt on the blower. Little things like that. Paint the exhaust tips. and but Keep it as is. I like the, you know, the powder coat came out nicely. So, why mess with it? But just add some details. And here's the Mad Manga he did. I believe this is a powder coat too. But, you know, it's already got some details from the factory. You can see them in there. But I may do a, just a few more. You know, blacken the tips or even drill them out so they look hollow. But, yeah, there's that one. Now, what else do I got in here? Oh, here's the Sugar Skull cloth that Nas used to ship stuff in. And there's just some baggies in here. And another present from Nas. Uh, yeah. The Super uh, Treasure Hunt Cobra. Which is still in the Protecto pack. But yeah, that I'll keep. That's a valued member of my uh, collection. I don't think I'll ever sell that. Um, if I do, it'll be because I'm either desperate or <laughs> when I'm old and about to die or something, I'm like, you know, what am I going to do with this stuff? You know, I'm going to have to do something with it. Okay, this is just some of my stuff. I'll show you some of my... I have nowhere near as many Hot Wheels as I did. Um, I had several cases like this, and some bigger full. Now, last year I gave away 280 to the hospital for the children. I gave away another... 150 or more uh, for the Christmas toy drive. And then I sold a bunch this past year like crazy. I just started selling stuff, you know. I was kind of getting desperate for money. I was kind of getting broke there. So I sold a bunch for next to nothing. But anyhow, this is just some of what I got in there. Um, I got these Matchbox Rancheros, which I eventually want to do some customizing to those. These you've seen, these were the uh, 
Chevette's that uh, Nas sent me or that I won in the auction. I know he sent me some, and I won some. Yeah, okay, there's the 55 with the error that he sent me. Um, he sent me some other bonuses, and some of this came with the bids I did. Stuff I won, like these little cars, uh, the tuned ones. Uh, there's the Matchbox car. And then another more Chevettes. Another newer square body. I get the square bodies when I can because they're, you know, they're cool. And there's a, the 55 Gasser and the Porsche Carrera. Some of these I bought recently and, you know, just threw them in the tote here. There's the Cyclone and the Silhouette Nissan. And there's Deuce knocking things over because it's what he does. He's good at that. Uh, the 57 Ford, which, you know, there's a model kit of this I have in there, so I might make a big and little mini-me version. There's the 62 Vet I recently picked up. The little Fiat, the little funky thing. I may do some custom work for that. And then I got the 72 Stingray. Yeah, let's see what else I got in here. Ah, yes. Volkswagen T1 panel. Um... I forgot how and where I got this from, uh, but it's not its not going to stay Disney, I can tell you that. Sooner or later, it's going to go into the strip tank. I know some collectors might, like, cringe at the very thought of me doing that, but I don't care. It's a die-cast toy. Who cares? Oh, I got another 510 wagon to do something with. I got a custom, and I don't remember who did this. I can't read it real well. Uh, Big Daddy Diecast, it looks like. I bought this at one of Nas's auction. It had a wheel swap on it. So I still got that. And got another Porsche. A friend of mine's uh, husband has a real one. It's charcoal gray. I got to do one up for him and then give it to him. Uh, then there's another Datsun wagon, which you know they'll all get the custom treatment sooner or later. Got the Matt and Debbie Hayes, and I got this little Civic custom. It's got these really tiny wheels. Bless you, Deuce. You know, may do something with that someday. Got the Matt and Debbie Hay. may do some wheel swapping to that. Got this, which I won at the auction too. This old diorama that, you know, I really should write on these things or write down who made this. If you're out there, shout out in the comments. Um, but yeah, I made this little race car diorama thing. It's pretty cool, like a pit stop. So there's that, I got that in there. I got this Christmas car, um, which was a uh, Christmas gift a few years ago from the uh, girlfriend's daughter and son-in-law. Oh, and these are the wheels I was telling you about yesterday. These are some, the green light, they're separate wheels and tires, the um, dually drivers. Um, so you got the dually wheels. So I'm going to save some of these for those Hot Wheels uh, team transport trucks rather than those you know putting those big oversized mags on them that wouldn't be realistic in the real world at least put some the kind of wheels those trucks would really have let's see what else i got here my tote of die cast uh, i got a 59 pala the post car the one without all the gold chrome and the tin and windows so this is a nice custom fodder up oh, another silverado this is the green one which, of course, they probably won't stay that color for long. What else do I got? Oh, I got another Divco. I was going to do some custom work with at some point. That one's still packaged. I got the Matchbox with the Porta-Potties, which might be a nice for a little mini diorama. That's mainly why I bought it, because the truck is fictional. The Poop King. That's a great name. This is, this is an oldie, uh, the Fiat Altered. This is from, what year is this? 2005. 
So that's a cool one. I didn't get rid of everything, just a lot of it. Because I'm still buying some here again. I'm going to go right back. And this is another big daddy die cast. It's got a wheel swap on it of the uh, bone shaker. I won it one of Nas's auctions. And I don't remember who made these. Um, Deuce! Oh, you. Um, yeah, I think it got a wheel swap and repackaged. But being I own a Tacoma, not this gen, <coughs> excuse me, not this gen, but I own one, so I like that. Uh, let me see. Another Matt and Debbie Hay. And another Dotson Wagon. I got more than I thought I did. Jeez. Just when I think I'm out of them, I'm not. I got this one, the Skyline, which I did a custom of one of these once. I think I just left it as is. Um, detailed the grill and stuff. Did a wheel swap. And I think I cleared it with Pearl to enhance it a little bit. But I'll probably do one of those. Up as a custom, got a another Impala. This one's you know the hard top without the post, and this one's 1999. See, I got some old stuff here, and what else I got? And I got another custom Tacoma. Uh, yeah, got another one custom packaged, and I got the Civic Type R. I got a nice little wheel swap on it. Like I said, I don't remember who did these. So if you're out there, speak up. Uh, one of my favorite, they call these the, uh, what do they call these? Hard nose. They're another tuned vehicle. They had that, you know, that drawing like you saw in the old Hot Rod magazines, those sketches. So I love this 59 Apache. I wish they would do a 125th scale model of this. You know, and do a stock version of this. But this makes a nice custom. And another another gasser, which you can't go wrong with gassers. And then what else do we got? We're getting down to the bottom. Uh, the Volvo gasser, which I got to do one of these as a custom yet. Then I got this. It's slightly tuned. It was, it's in the Happy Birthday packaging, um, but it's the Cadillac Escalade. It's actually detailed pretty nicely. I mean, it's got tampos front and rear, but I might do a wheel swap on that. Then I got the Silhouette Nissan Silvia, which, you know, is one of my ones I like to customize. Oh, what else we got here, Joe? Let's see. We got the a tuned Silverado. We got another Porsche, a different color one. But we got one. We got this the Deuce Roadster, I think. Mm. Yeah. So it's a nice custom fodder. I've done a few of these in the past. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. We're down to the last couple. We got another Chevy Nova, 63. And we got another So Fine Buick, which I like customizing these with the wide whites and, you know, doing the lead sled 50s touch. And I think we're down to our last few. Nothing in there but display cases. Got another uh, the Corvette Gasser, the 62. And I got the land speeder. I want to do something custom to that. <sighs> and I think the last but not least, yep, another Silverado. And I just picked up some more today. I picked up the the black and the red orange version of it, and uh, picked up a few other things. So yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. I'm gonna pack this stuff back up. And head out to the hobby shop and do some other things. I want to finish the Hot Wheels customs off that I have on the table now. There's not much left. Uh, they're probably going to get all a quick polish before I uh, ship them. I mean, it's, uh, the auction is on the 9th, so I got plenty of time to 
finish them, and then ship them in more than enough time for them to get there. But, um, oh, one more thing. This Avanti, I believe, Nas sent me. Let's see if it'll focus. Let's take it out of the bag. Youngstown, Ohio, Avanti's were actually made here for a while. Um, I can't remember what years, late 80s, into the 90s or something like that. Only for a few years, the newer version. And they had the squared headlights. I think the headlights were, might have been round in a square bezel or they were all square. I don't remember. But they were made here in Youngstown for a while when they got revamped. Um, oh, let me tell you the story of this. And it's also an interesting concept for us uh, model builders. Maybe we could do something like this. Anyhow, back in the day when Avanti came here, I think it was put on by DeBartlo. Somebody correct me if you're from Youngstown. I'd have to look the history up. Anyhow, this entrepreneur around here put the thing on and, you know, it was the big thing, a car factory coming back to Youngstown. And it was just a small plant where they were assembled. And uh, anyhow, they wanted to celebrate the return of manufacturing to Youngstown because Youngstown, if you don't know, was a big steel town at one time. That's mainly what it was. Um, however, you know, the steel mills closed down in the late 70s, early 80s. They all started going belly up and closed their doors. And yeah, most of the buildings aren't even there anymore. So anyhow, once this Avanti plant came in and uh, some of the old steel mill property and, you know, one of the big old warehouses, um, they wanted to celebrate it. So a friend of ours... Me and my buddy Daryl built models together a lot. We were, you know, it was like a weekly thing with us. And uh, a mutual friend of ours, Bob, was a security guard, and he's also a cop. Uh, he was working security over at the, uh, I think it was the Bartlow building. Um, uh, me and my men to Bartlow. God dang it. There's another entrepreneur around here, a big, big, rich guy. Well, anyhow... He worked at security at their big office buildings, and uh, they were going to put on this big celebration, this big banquet for Avanti to celebrate the card being made there now, blah, 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 right? Well, anyhow, um, they had ordered at the time, you remember the Prestige series of uh, AMT kits? Well, they had, the Avanti was one of the Prestige kits. That's the kit that came with the the base with the pen holder and all the tools that were like plastic tools that were useless. But so anyhow, they found that AMT had made the Avanti kit, even though it was the older round headlight version. So they had ordered, I don't remember the number. I think it was 50, 60, maybe 80 of them. I don't recall of those kits. And AMT sent them a bunch of these kits, but they weren't in the boxes. They were all bagged kits from the factory. And they had all the stuff. The the uh, bare metal was in there, that crappy bare metal they sent, all the tools, all the bases, all the pen holders, everything was there. The whole nine yards. and But they were in bags instead of boxes. So Bob contracted us to build them all for the banquet. And the thing is, they didn't have to be painted. Um, they just had to be assembled. So they're just going to be white plastic. And uh, so Bob brings his giant cardboard box or boxes over to Daryl's house. And we all sat down at this table and we started building them to see how quickly we could slap one together. Just glue them, glue them. Now, those didn't have the one-piece chassis, mind you. Those had a multi-piece chassis and everything else. And we spent how much time each of us trying to build one. And I'm like, oh my God, we're never going to get these done in time. Because I forgot the time span we had to get these done. And uh, so what we did, I said, hey, why don't we do this assembly line? I said, why don't one of us take chassis? We're not going to put the engines in them because the hoods are getting glued shut. One of us do the chassis. One of us do interior. One of us do body. And I'm like, yeah, that'll work. So... We spent the night separating all the parts. Like I took home all a big box of bagged chassis parts. Daryl took the interior. Bob took the body. Uh, something like that. And we just took them home. We did them in our spare time. 
And, you know, of course, they weren't perfect. The wheel alignment wasn't perfect because, you know, the chassis was multi on that. The interiors, you know. Uh, but we had more time. It would have been nice to at least paint the bodies, you know, all different colors. But, no, they were all white. So we finally got back together, uh, you know, a week, two weeks later, however the time span was, and we assembly lined them together. And uh, it was cool to watch the, the TV news report on the banquet and what they did is they had these planters, you know, these plants on the table, centerpieces going down the tables. And, you know, in the plant were these models. You know, it was so cool to say, hey, I did that. So I thought it would be a really cool one thing, you know, sometime for us model guys, maybe to do something like that. You know, maybe we'll build a kit that way and ship it across the country. And like, you know, one of us will we'll pick a kit. And, uh, you know, one of us will do the body and all the details of that that can be done. And then uh, ship that off to somebody to do the chassis. And maybe someone do the, uh, you know, interior. And then, you know, have someone put it all together as is. And then maybe we could, you know, auction the kit off for charity or something like that. Um, be kind of a cool thing. But anyhow, I am going to get my butt moving because here it is. Um... Oh, God, this is already a half hour long. I didn't even intend for it to be this long. I was intending this to be out in 15 minutes. So it's 26 minutes and 24 seconds right now. Okay, well, I'm going to go about my day. I just wanted to make this real quick. And, um, hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Just wanted to show you a little more of my diecast stuff. And I think that's it. That's about all I got. So, thank you. Thank you, people. All of you. You, 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 you. And even you over there. See, I see you way over there. Okay, and you on your couch. And you, hey, hey this isn't that kind of film. Don't do that. Okay? Wait, change the channel. There's channels for that. But anyhow, hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good time. Have a good weekend, everybody. And uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.